They're price gouging these masks. That's gouging. Well, that much is true, why'd you break the government? Oh, because if they was doing what they were supposed to do, we wouldn't have to be dealing with this virus. Like, can we put this on our taxes? All the money we don't have to spend for masks? Hey guys, hey, it is your girl. So Fashion Week TV in the place to be. And happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. And yeah, I've not vlogged since I went to the dentist on Friday. I've not turned on the camera. And then before that, I had not turned on the camera in a little minute, you know? So I'm back on here today and I just wanted to do a really quick intro. This is going to be a somewhat interesting video because I've not done a video like this before on this channel. Um, so today guys, I am going to be going to laser away. Now this is not a sponsored video. I, hey, this is not a sponsored video guys. This is me spending my own money to get, you know, treatments and things, you know, investing in myself, you know? Yeah. So this is Alexa off. Okay. I had to, I had, you gotta bring it all together. So yeah. So I will be going into laser away today to have um, Botox treatment done so the last time I had Botox guys it was a while ago and I did record it but that video never ever saw the light of day because when I came out of the treatment I had like the spots and it was like you know little uh, spots of blood on my forehead and I just did not want to bring that to the channel you know I was looking all kinds of crazy and it was my first time so you know this is my second round of Botox in probably about a year because I think that was probably maybe a year and a half ago so <clears throat> I figured I would document the uh, experience here on the channel just in case there's anyone who inquired or wondered about Botox treatments and if African American women get them yes we do although I'm fair skinned um, my skin for the most part has been very good throughout the years and I've not experienced many hiccups with my skin um, other than some occasional acne but when I did lose weight the second time around um, for those of you who don't know, I had uh, VSG surgery as a revision to uh, lap band surgery. So when I had my original weight loss surgery, I was much younger. And um, you know, that was 10 plus years ago that I had that original surgery. And then I had my revision back in 2016. And um, so as you can imagine with age, you know, your skin changes over time. And I had not been doing any type of really strict skin regimen. Turn that down, turn it down. Cause that's going to pick up in my so, video. You know, the wrinkles in the forehead and all that, it gotta go. Cause it, it has no place. It has no place here. So we're going to go on over there and um, I will take you guys along for the ride. So my appointment is at 4.30 today. My original appointment was uh, going to be April 3rd, but they called me and let me know that an opening had um, had come and if I wanted to reschedule that I could. So I'm like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. So I just got off of the phone with um, one of the schedulers and she was so, so nice. And um, yeah, I'm all set to go in for this appointment. So very, very excited. Um, you know to see the results because I got a couple of things coming up and I didn't want them to be so close uh, closely packed that I'm just throwing all of these like things on you guys I had already scheduled this appointment it was just you know it was scheduled in advance so um, you know it would be good for me to go ahead and get this video out let you guys see the results because right after that I will be going in for my surgery so yeah, um, I'm gonna piece you guys out here and I'll be back on once I look a little bit more presentable and I'm on my way to laser away. The sneezing, the coughing, it's getting on my nerves. These dogs are. Alrighty guys, and I want you to see my whole outfit and everything, how I got my fit all set up and everything. But anyway, hello. So checking back in with you guys, it is roughly about, it's gotta be about 2.15ish right now. My appointment's at 4.30 so we're gonna get on the road and get over there, you know, way ahead of my appointment because, you know, the traffic on Sunday going to the city is quite iffy because parking over in the city is typically free on the weekends. And so, um, you know, everybody and their mama from New Jersey are going over to the city. Today is the first day of daylight savings, like we've sprung forward. And so it's going to be lighter outside, much longer. So, you know, the first day of that, 
maybe some people are tired but maybe not uh, i would anticipate that there would be a lot of people outside today so um we're gonna try to get a head start so that i can you know be to my appointment on time i banked 50 units of Botox. I don't know how much I'm going to need. The last time I got Botox, which, which was about a year and a half ago, I got, I think I got 20 units. And that was sufficient for the area that I treated, which was my 11s and my forehead. So, you know, depending upon what they say I'm going to need, I would anticipate anywhere from 20 to 30 units. And then I'll bank the rest for my next appointment. So, We'll see what they say. I'm definitely going to have the camera. You guys are definitely coming along with me for the ride. Um, to prep for this, I just washed my face. You know, I did my normal skincare regimen and I did follow up with toner and just my uh, Black Girl sunscreen just to protect my skin as I'm going out. I thought about wearing a hat, but again, when you're getting Botox, you don't want to aggravate the treated area. So yeah, I'll piece you guys out here. I just went into CVS in New York City and why they charging ten dollars for masks for these cheap ass masks okay they're price gouging these masks that's gouging well that much is true but I bring the government oh because if they was doing what they were supposed to do we wouldn't have to be dealing with this virus like can we put this on our taxes all the money we don't have to spend for masks look who's here look who's here Look who's here. And you gotta show me. Like, I don't want to be in the camera. Look who else is here. Hi. Mm -hmm. I was just filming a little bit. Bye. Yeah, so. This is the mask that I got because now this, this thing is probably way too big because it looks like one of those big ginormous ones. But since I have on army fatigue, they didn't have anything that matched it closely. But this is the closest thing, so I got this. And, um, so basically you pay $10 for coronation. All of them were $10, so I wasn't going to get a white one.
love this being that sweet. Very, very sweet. Oh. There's dog hair all up in this car. Go ahead, Dan. A year ago. A year ago? Okay, okay. So what's your what are you trying to get done? Okay, like, so for areas? me, um more so like my forehead area. Okay, okay. That was what I got treated the last time. I guess he he put some in like the eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also like I mean I don't know but like um like the smile like you so we do filler for that area. We don't Okay. Do so can you just take a area? look and let me yeah, know if it's, if it's recommended? I don't know. I mean Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um I have my N ninety five on so you can actually okay. go ahead and remove okay. your mask. Awesome. Okay. Mom. She's here to the 2020 Oscars. She 